Good everyone, my name is Graphis. Today's tutorial will be on assembly drawing, where we are told to assemble the given figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen, and that figure is called a C clamp. Now, what you can see at the right hand side of the screen is a C clamp. What you can see here is also a C clamp. The difference is that this is the assembled parts and this is the part that are not yet assembled, right? They are called, these are the items also. So we have seven items that mix up this one component here you see, right? And the first thing you do when you are giving a question on a C clamp, on a, an assembly drawing, you need to draw out your part list. This is the part list. The part list will show you what is present in the diagram that you can see at the right hand side of the screen. Now we have seven items here. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Each name of the item and the material they are made of with the quantity present. Now item one, which you can see my arrow pointing on the screen, is called the frame. And this big thing you see here is what is a frame, right? And this frame you're seeing here is made up of what? Of a cast iron, right? And the amount of quantity here is just one of it present. There's no two as you can see on the diagram. Number two, item two is the screw, right? And the screw is made up of what? My steel and only one is present. What is happening? The screw is fitting in to what? Into the frame. Right? How will you know it's fitting into the frame? It is due to the diameter. Because if you check closely, diameter of the frame, this part in the frame, if you check the diagram very well, is the same as the diameter of what? Of the screw. That will tell you that what the screw is going through the what the frame, right? And item three is the pad, right? The pad is made up from what my steel also, and we have one present. And this is the pad here, as you can see in the screen. How did I know the screw is entering the pad? Still the same thing, the diameter. Diameter from here to here in the pad, as you can see, is the same thing as from here to here in the screw. Right? So that is telling you that what? This item 3, this item 2 is coming into item 3. And item 7, which is the cap screw, is fastening item 3 to what? item 2 to item 2 yes is that again and um, we also have what is called the item 4 which is the tummy bar now we know that we usually use a C clamp to grip two different components together in a bench vice right or in the workshop now this is a screw Right, we see the square thread, and we know a screw involves revolution. What item four, which is called the tummy bar, helps us in doing is to rotate what item two. So when I do rotate the tummy bar, which is item four, what happened? Item two starts rotating. Is that the key now? So it rotates it round, and we have the pin also. So the pin ensures that this doesn't fall off. So when I lose the pin here, no matter how this item four will know what will not fall out. Is that the key now? And um, we have what is called. So that's what we have here. We have item six also, which is called the pin, which I've called. We have item five, which is the collar, and so on and so forth. So what is component now? Is what we fit in together to form this 
figure here, right? Now, one thing you need to understand, you'll be surprised we are seeing section lines. Now, the section line is telling me that what? We have sectioned it. X, X direction. We have sectioned it. So, when you section it vertically downward, you are going to see this, this screw will be exposed. That is why the screw is exposed. And you know, we don't section a screw, right? A fastener. That's why I section this and this, showing you the path this is going through. Similarly, here also, I section it. That is why the cap screw is exposed. And this is exposed also. So that's why I section it. You don't section a screw. Also, here too, section also. So that's why. This item 4, which is the tummy bar, is also exposed, showing you that it's going through in here. Right? So this is what we have here. And this is one of the power or the advantage of assembly drawing. You get to know which one is fitting which by looking at the diam diameter of each of them. Start comparing. Now, how did I know the cap screw? is entering into what the pad if you check the diameter of the cap screw right from here to here it is the same diameter of what of the um of the pad also right the same diameter of the pad from here to here also as you can see is that the case now similarly if you check diameter of the um the tummy bar from here to here is the same diameter that is present here also on the what on the on the um we have this is the number item for the tummy bar as you can see here and also on the screen and this is what item two is the screw so when you check diameter of the tummy bar a diameter of the screw here at the top here you realize that what they are the same that is why this is able to penetrate into this is that the key? and what else again do we have here so this is uh, the some of the most important thing that you have to know how you analyze this so when you see a question like this and if you want to know how to draw this step by step right you want to know how i did all this step by step I uh, by section this in order to get all these curves here and how I section all this part here and what the diagram looks like before I sectioned it just click on the link at the top right corner of the screen or you wait at the end of the video and click on the end screen or you check the link in the comment section below or you check description link below so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching